Hey folks, how are we doing? So hopefully the outside video will show off the finish is a little nicer because I wanted to show you that copper finish really real bad, you know, really bad I wanted to show you. And the camera inside didn't do it just as the light. And I did it on a couple of these pretty much had the copper blast yesterday with finishing and really like it kind of yeah I found the shows it much better these kardashians came out just cool one of the last these are actually the last sharkies and la one of the last uh, gavidashis for a long time you know sharkies are getting the new look and uh, gavidashis are probably just retired them because there will be always the new and new the small tool so this is gonna be one of the last ones, so you see really cool copper wash. The cool thing about this, what I've noticed from handling it for the last couple of days, this finish, it actually is pretty, re you know, pretty resistant. It is definitely much more resistant than uh, acid wash. It doesn't rub off so far, I didn't see it rubbing off. It doesn't rub off even from the sheets. You see these are always kind of tighter sheets, just for, so they don't fall out. And it doesn't leave marks, it doesn't just rub off the copper, so actually very, very resilient kind of finish on it. It, it does rub off when I, when I overstrap it, when I strap it too much, like when I go to the bevel. You can kind of see it here a little bit. But that's, you know, power strap with the compound at higher speed. So, gotta say, definitely lot more resistance. I'm curious to see how it's gonna look when it kinda, you know, if, if somebody doesn't take care of it and starts patina, you know, how uh, copper goes greenish. I think it's gonna be pretty cool too. And I did two EDCs and one Raptor with the same finish. And I really like this, so you have kinda like a pretty cool look to it. Uh, I think it will be called, I don't know if Gaudi is a, a bad word or if it's just uh, the style of like a team kind of like almost goldish that copper look with the, this one is carbon fiber heavily heavily sandblasted like crazy sandblast you can actually see like peaks and it's rounded because it's blasted but it's it literally is three almost like a 3d machined but it's done by you know randomness of the pattern inside and the sandblast very very grippy very nice to touch at least in my opinion so this one has take down whole stack sheet Nice attention, shoots off, the fold over design, this one has a OD green whole stacks, carbon fiber, with the black and OD green handle, and it has the same finish, and look at that, really, really like it, if the camera would focus on it. There, I think it's pretty cool. These have jimpings, that one has, this one has kind of like that micro rock on the spine. And this Raptor, same kind of deal, heavily sandblasted carbon fiber on the handle. Take down this style Hostex sheet. And I really like the distress look of this one. Letting the stone was a little more. And actually kind of started dropping it off on in areas but it has that cool very rich copper color on some areas and then that washed out patches like a very distressed look the nice thing about this is i mean some of you might notice that i don't do acid wash the acid acid actually like uh, certain degrees sometimes degrades the steel that's why I'm staying away from it so the knives are as best as possible as users but the copper wash is actually it's really quick it's very very quick chemical reaction so the knife is there actually literally minute two minute or two and the acid is very very diluted the one I use is probably like just couple ounces of acid and about a liter of water and then the copper, just a lot of copper, I, I, you know, every time I have some rods, I throw it in there, there were some pennies to begin with, uh, yes, I actually ground it extra to get even more copper on that steel to, bo to do the bonding, actually ground some into the dust and throw that there, and uh, also it helps that it's, uh, I have very rough media in the sandblast, so when I open it up, it get, gets to those pores, and then I stone wash it, which closes the pores, so... 
you know, there is the and the actual chemical reaction of steel corroding from the acid doesn't really happen because that's when uh, when I did the experiment. When you leave it there very very short, the first the copper gets to the steel, but when you leave it there longer, you know, after about half an hour, that's when the acid gets to the steel and actually starts eating in the steel, which is known as acid wash, you know, the acid bath. So that doesn't actually happen. So you know, there isn't that chemical reaction between steel and acid. Actually, just between the copper and acid that bonds to the zinc in the steel. So I'm pretty happy about it. I'm probably gonna be doing uh, pretty often, first off, because I like it. Uh, second, there was pretty good reaction to it from people. People like it. And third, it's something that you don't really see people do. You know, everybody's just doing acid wash, acid wash, acid wash all over everywhere. And uh, it's just different. You know, I think it's the cooler, the futuristic acid wash. <laughs> It is actually more like a steampunk uh, acid wash, but I just like it, so I will probably do it once in a while. And if people are interested, yes, I can do it, even on the older stuff, but I mean, obviously, it's it's gonna, I have to charge for it, because it means taking the, everything apart, blasting, acid wash, it's it's quite a lot, pro, quite a, not complicated, but it takes time, and then the resharpen and everything. But if people are interested in it, I can offer it, you know, for my knives. Only for my knives, not other knives. <laughs> so guys, thank you for all the support. These are going to Gear Passion, so they will be available there shortly. Thank you for watching, thank you for all the support. Take care, stay safe, and remember, don't cut yourself.